In Europe today, a number of airports do not have any form of surveillance. Yet their traffic is rising significantly to respond to ever-growing demand from low-cost operators. Because the approach phase is handled by applying ATC procedural control, increasingly aircraft have to hold while their predecessor completes their approach procedure. Similarly, departing aircraft have to be kept at non-optimal flight levels to ensure separation with traffic in holding patterns. For example, until they are handed over to the area control centre. As traffic numbers grow, the procedural separations acceptable for low traffic levels will become difficult to maintain. In addition, procedural control implies large separations and requires labour-intensive controller activity. Where cost of installation of a standard radar system cannot be envisaged, the low cost of ADS-B technology enables airports to benefit from ADS-B surveillance. This will allow the controller to vector aircraft along shorter routes. Arriving aircraft will benefit from fewer holding patterns and optimize descent to the runway. Also, departing aircraft can be vectored to continuous climbs and shorter routes. Separations can be reduced to surveillance-based minima and capacity will increase. Controllers will provide a better service with less workload while safety will be enhanced. Today, air crews do not have very good traffic situational awareness in the cockpit. They don't know if they're likely to obtain a level change if they ask for one. Thanks to ADS-B technology, the crew can see the surrounding traffic on a navigation display, for example. Also, ITP aircraft are qualified for reduced separation when crossing intermediate flight levels. The crew can evaluate if they meet ITP criteria before they actually make a request. On the ground, the ATC controller remains responsible for confirming that the ITP is feasible. ITP still allows the air crew to identify opportunities for flight level change. 
they are also more likely to receive a positive answer to their requests. Given these achievements, Eurocontrol and partners are now moving on. Operational implementation is on its way. The first commercial flight using ATSA was uh, performed from Swiss on 7th of February 2012 going from Zurich to Montreal. The flight crew were able to test the new equipment during this flight. They sent an intra procedure request to the ground within the Shenwick FIR, which was uh, very good received from the ATC on ground. Swiss came to the ATSA Pioneer project uh, end of 2009, beginning 2010. Uh, for us it's very important to be part of the future development as uh, our role as an airspace user. ATSA is a very helpful tool for us pilots. It increases awareness of traffic around the aircraft, shows in a very efficient way what is going on around. By using ATSAW, we can, for example, climb where in earlier days a climb would be restricted by traffic around us. Now with this tool, we uh, are able to perform this climb, although there is no radar control, for example. By this changing of flight levels, we can come closer to our optimum flight level and thereby save fuel. So for us pilots, it's a very helpful and nicely built tool. The environmental improvement is one of uh, the main goals of Swiss. We try to use uh, new technology wherever possible, try to uh, optimize our flight routes to reduce the emissions and uh, of course save fuel for the company. So we see ADSB in as an uh, important step for the further development of the surveillance procedures. Mm -hmm.